Well, hopefully this character here um, will have a little bit more luck than I have been having. Um, still going to be in the same world uh, over at Kathak here. Just doing adventure mode. Still trying to get that one epic hero. At least one that's able to kill a few things and maybe explore some of the world before dying. I think that we will be with Oman Lastret here. Hopefully we don't start in the same exact town that we have been starting in. That may be the only adventure, that the only home of adventurers on the map, however. Um, actually, you know what? I think that character did rather well. I think those were the stats I might have given him there. I mean, he was decent in combat until it just ran into a complete badass monster that he couldn't deal with. Bump those up. Bring all those up. What do I need? Wrestling should be seven. Reading and throwing. There we go. Oosh have taken shadow. That's a fine first. That's a fine name there. Because we are going to be taken by the shadows. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Um, so where did we start? We started in the town of Noble Tones. Let's see what missions they've got for us. Do you need us to go kill the same monster? A beast from the wilds, muddy crevasses, Bodod Wooda's trance is where we need to go. So that is where we will be going. But first, we're going to swing by Spreadrax, the fortress there, and see if there's any gear that we can take. Of course, there's the tomb here that if I was suicidal, could explore. Oh man, am I not going to be able to? I may not be able to get up there. We've discovered a cave. Can't travel through. You know what? Mm. We'll explore this cave. <laughs> Might as well. We bumped into it here. Wow. Are those things? Those things are alive and coming after me. But there is a ton of loot around here. Cobalt Surgeon, Cobalt Bone Carver. Is this... Oh god, this is a Cobalt Village that I stumbled upon. Well, this character is about ready to see how many Cobalts he can... You know, cut his way through here. Hopefully none of them are... Crossbowmen. Cobalt surrounds us. Yeah, they're going to surround us fairly quickly here. So let's see. Let's go for his hand. We slice at it. Um, we collide and the kobold tumbles backwards. I don't want to be charging people. Dodge preference. Move around. Charge. Defense is to dodge away. The kobold furnace operator catches up to us. They're quick. Upper body. We stab at him. He jumps to the side. They're going to, yeah, they're going to completely surround me very quickly. Uh, I'm not going to be able to keep backstepping. We slash him in the foot. He falls over. Okay, now, yeah, we're getting surrounded here. Cobalt Bone Doctor. We punch him in the upper body. The uh, bruise in the left lung. I didn't mean to punch him. I was kind of hoping to stab him because we had an easy shot. Uh, let's see. His right foot. Did I lose? What? No. No, no, no. Where, where is my sword at? Did my... I think my sword got stuck in in the cobalt. Okay, well... Yeah, apparently my sword got lost, got stuck in the cobalt, and I lost it. Okay, let's remove the large copper dagger. I have to have some real weapon here. Now, who did he get stuck in? Was it the furnace operator here? Lower body? Let's stab at him. An artery opens up. We tear apart the left kidney. Okay, move on to the next one that's not wounded. He'll drop from his wounds eventually. Upper body, fairly solid. Let's stab there, too. He jumps to the side. I'm going to step backwards. We maintain possession of the copper short sword. Oh, it was still stuck in the kobold. Whoops, I didn't know that. We've got two weapons equipped now. That's fine. Um, upper body normal strike square. We're going to stab with the copper short sword. We miss the kobold counter strikes. We roll to the side. Still backpedaling, trying not to get surrounded. We have a lower body. We stab at him. Uh, tearing apart the spleen, an artery's been opened up. The 
short sword lodges in the wound. I'm going to step back and pull our sword out there. So this is actually working out fairly nicely. Left foot, we slash, and that cobalt falls over, and we discover a river, too. Well, what I'm hoping for is that I can find some nice items here, what they've stolen over the years. Of course, it could just be figurines, jewelry, and amulet that they picked up. Which may give me stuff to trade. Yeah, I don't really see any armor. There's a cobalt doctor. Man, there's so many cobalts. Okay, I'm going to stop aiming my attacks and just start slicing at them. We slash that one in the right foot, tearing an artery. It falls over. Okay, that one. We cut its foot off. It sails over. Um, we just danced around, counter-striking, dodging and weaving between a whole bunch of them. We stab again. That cobalt jumps to the side. I'm not sure how tall these things are. What do they do? Come up to our knee, maybe a little bit more. We're able to deflect him with our shield. He punches us in the left upper arm, bruising the muscle. We don't have any real armor on, unfortunately. They're going to punch us with their little cobalt hands and bruise us to death. Punches us in our finger. Our hand is going numb. Okay, um... I haven't hit in like three or four attacks here. Attack the cobalt. We stab him in the right lung. He's having trouble breathing. We move, maintain possession of the copper short sword. A few more blows land on us. We chop that one's left foot, severing a sensory nerve. It falls over. Okay, now we're winded and nauseous. What happened? It punches us in the lower body. And we're mortally wounded. Oh no. How did that happen? Can't be mortally wounded. Right hand is smashed up. Well, I could be losing a lot of blood. Okay, I'm just going to step back. We pull our sword out. We're winded. Still nauseous. We vomit. I'm going to... My fear right now is that I'm going to give in to the pain and fall over. We continue to vomit. More kobolds fall over and more pick themselves up. We retch. This could be a horrible idea. Our speed is down to 601. Okay, now we are in trouble. Let's see, he gets bruised. We counter-strike, slash the cobalt in the right lower leg, tearing apart the fat. would really like to keep moving here. Um, what do we have on the foot? A left foot, we slash at it. It jumps to the side. We retch. We get punched in the, in the side, bruising our muscle. We counter-strike but miss. Okay, another one's about ready to join the fight. Upper body, we stab at him, uh, shattering the left true rib. We get a few more punches landed on us. Thankfully, they don't have any daggers or cleaving knives, anything like that. Upper body will stab him. We miss. The cobalt falls over and gives into the pain. That's my biggest worry right now. Then they'll choke us to death. We stab but miss and then spend a little bit of time dancing around, more blows landing on our body. The cobalt charges at us. Uh, it's knocked over. We stand our ground. Okay, I don't have any good attacks on that one. Or on that one. Mm, there's one on the right upper leg. Let's slash at it. Oh boy. We're bleeding, we're in pain. We attack but it jumps to the side. Kicks us in the left foot, bruising the muscle. More tiny punches land on our body. We're cornered right now. A surgeon has shown up. We go for a lower body stab. We miss. I don't know how. They're biting us is what they're doing. Now, I'm just going to backpedal a bit more. Maintain possession. Oh, they're biting my water skin. Those jerks. We break the grip. Yeah, they're trying to choke me and bite me to death now. We've got a nice little group of them following us. Oh boy. Kick some of our teeth out. They lay on the ground. We're spitting blood. Cursing their name. I'd like to live through this one. Something, some body parts just flew somewhere. Uh, the cobalt doctor punches us in the back teeth. We lose more of them apparently. There's our lower back tooth. There's our lower left back tooth. That jerk punched our teeth out. Mm, easy, fairly solid. We slash at it. You know what? I need to throw the large dagger. Get one of these weapons out of my hand. We throw it at that one. Um, it strikes him in the left hand. And they continue to charge at us and pummel us. Mm, the 
the kobold charges at us, we sh shrug off the blow. Man, there is just all... There's three pages of kobolds around me. I gotta go for that hunter. Let's see. Left upper leg. We slash at him, but miss. We get bit. The kobold latches on. Shakes around. Oh, I <laughs> finally die. Another character beaten to death or killed in combat before he can prove his worth. Um, let's see. Punches us in the left upper leg. We finally just suffocated from all the broken ribs and bones and things like that. What a horrible way to go. Pummeled to death by kobolds. How, how sad. Well, I'm not giving up yet. I'm going to create a new character and... Um, one of these times, we're going to actually make it to a tower to explore. Or to one of the keeps. Okay. Okay. The game plan is, next time, I will not get sidetracked. We are going to explore these other keeps. And we are going to find at least one or two soldiers to recruit. Even if I have to off-screen running around town, we are going to find some people to recruit. <sighs> We will be successful. Okay, so what should we be, a dwarf? No, no we won't be a dwarf. We're going to be a human from Oman Last Red again. Still a hero. Even though I'm starting to think that in this world I might need to be a demigod. Let's see, analytical ability, yes. Focus and intuition. Swordsman skill? Yeah... I guess we'll continue using that for the time being. Fighter, up to eight. All of these, to seven. Thrower, reader, and... Let's see. What's a hero's name? Oh, I should have had that one. Muffin Villages. Rain Twists. Necro Ardent. Shoot Quiet. Mm. One of these will work. Perplexed Glee. I don't know why I'm so happy. Father Ash. Roasted Braves. Hero Bottle. Pack Hero Bottle. He gets his courage from a bottle. And if we find any, I'm sure I'll be sure to grab them for him. We start with a bronze scimitar and a shield. Along with some buffalo liver and a large copper dagger. I'm not gonna accept a job from them. Let's just let's just get out of here. Not gonna waste any time. We're going to skip the cobalt village there and see if we can pick our way over here to this fortress okay where's the entrance I think the entrance is on the western side here this is a rather odd shaped fortress oh please have some survivors here I have no doubt that the evil powers of this world have been assaulting every fortress that they come across is this... Is this the central build? What is this? Is this a tomb? God, I think this might be some type of crypt. Otherwise, this is the weirdest fortress I've ever seen. There is a locked electrum door here. We pick the lock. Yeah, this has got to be some type of tomb. An electrum slab. This is an electrum slab. The slab reads, Woe unto any that disturb the resting place of Nagas Liguprini. The general watches still. Okay, so... That means there's mummies around here. Huh, I didn't know there was a stairwell there. Guess I wasn't paying attention. Well, there are a bunch of skeletons. Peasant skeleton... We're gonna die here. What do we got? It's possible we could find a necromancer's book laying around. There's also some good gear. Whoa. We jump away from the spinning bronze battle axe. Well, that was nasty. Let's see, a dress. I'm gonna have to step on it to get a boot somehow. It's got that nice boot in there. A bronze right gauntlet, we'll take that. Did I just step on another trap? There's another bronze gauntlet. Copper pick. The spinning X-bronze two-handed sword misses me. 
Oh, I'm gonna step on that trap. Okay, they don't re-trigger, thankfully. Let's see, what, what, what do I have? I have a bronze right gauntlet and a bronze left gauntlet, and... And here is the other high boot. I have to do. Let's remove my sandals here. I'm I'm out here exploring in sandals. It's insane. Those are some very well crafted boots. Let's see. A finely crafted bronze high boot. It is adorned with hanging rings of superior quality reindeer bone. But it's not going to save us from the horrible things we're going to run into here. Okay. If I see any coffins, I have to run away. Copper high boots, ooh, and a copper helm. It's nice. Oh god, it found me. Oh boy, I am Nagas Daub Crested, prepare to die. Yep, it found us. The bronze halberd strikes me in the first finger, shattering the nail. Oh, and he curses me. And he's extremely quick, apparently. I'm not gonna be able to run away from him. Great. Lower body, let's see. We'll stab at him. We strike him, but the shot is parried. Okay. I don't want to stand my ground to a skeleton. I also don't want to wrestle with one, because they are quite powerful. A medium-sized creature, incredibly muscular. Ears have hanging nasty things on them, or something like that. A crafty mummy, we have a head strike. Normal square, we slash. Uh, we slash the mummy, tearing apart the muscle. We're no longer stunned, it collides with us lands on top. We gotta scramble away. Oh man, it just slammed us and spiked us onto the statue here. It picks us up and slams us onto the statue. Breaking our left lower leg. We also drop our gauntlet and our shield, so it paralyzed half of our body there. It slashes me in the left hand. Oh, my hand flew off. Well, it's been fun, but this is it. On the head, we have an impossible strike. That's not going to work. Maybe I can get a lucky strike on the foot here. We attack it, but it jumps to the side and comes back and stabs us in the upper body. And then it stabs us in the head, and we're struck down. Man, this is just a machine gun <sighs> run through with characters. Maybe an 8,000-year-old world is not that great of an idea. I'm sure some of these things have been alive for thousands of years at this point. Unable to be killed by any of the peasants who are born because the parents the, the peasants just get struck down before they can get any skill. I'm gonna need more tea tonight. Oh, let's see. I kinda wanna still continue to be a human from that civilization. I think we can make it. But that fortress is completely infested. Completely infested. You know what? Yeah, toughness. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Focus, analytical ability, and patience. Sword skill, there we go. Fighting, blah, blah, blah. None of these are going to change. I'm not going to mix it up right now. I can't say this has been successful for me. But... I still think it is a fairly good setup. Spikes crushed. Crab right. We are going to go back to that same fortress. We are Sut Fist Moons, apparently. That is who we will be. The female Sut Fist Moons. No, there's no heroes in there. There's no heroes anywhere in this world, as far as I'm concerned. Not even my characters. They are all just cannon fodder for the zombies. So, this time, let's avoid the tombs. We know what's in them. Great items, but certain death. Is this a cave right here? No, just a little plateau. I so I wouldn't be surprised if there's a monster cave around here, too. There's everything else that's bad. There's a tomb, for crying out loud. Okay, so here's the fortress. The entrance... Actually, the entrance is going to be on the left side. Looks like we have three tombs in the vicinity, if I'm looking at my compass correctly up there. There's one tomb. They just sink right into the ground. They've been dug in front of this fortress. This fortress probably has nobody living inside of it. If these tombs are any indication. 
Okay, well, the doors weren't on the west side. Here they are. Anybody living here? Anybody home by chance? Anything not completely evil? Not a good sign. What is that? What a weird setup this place has. Oh, maybe is there'll be well a lot of loot. Um, what do we? I didn't want to pick up the bag, even though I could probably get a little bit of money out of it. This character has a decent speed too. Bronze breastplate. Let's pick that up. A bronze halberd. I'll just hang on to the bucket for now. Why not? We've got a nice bronze helm. A nice bronze high boot. Pick up the bronze. Was that a bronze bucket or a bronze buckler? Bucket. Buckler. I'm gonna drop what I don't need. Drop that bucket too. Bronze Warhammer, a fancy one. It's a shame I don't have any skill in it. Mm -hmm, bronze helm. Uh, what do I need a match of? Let's put the helm on. I need the other fancy high boot that should be scattered around here somewhere. Water buffalo glove thingy. There's the other bronze high boot put those on in a minute too. Had plenty of inventory in these videos. Just no successful combat. Okay, a fancy bronze shield. Let's drop a crappy bronze shield that I've got. Remove that one from my bag. Also, let's remove my sandals again. Another crazy sandal adventurer. You can tell that some of these adventurers just set out with really high hopes, but not a lot of training or money. Um, a couple of different stairways up. Dead end side room. And more loot. What do we got? I'm missing a bunch of gear still. Chest pieces, leggings. Now that's another fancy buckler. I can't sew myself up, so I don't need any thread. Just leave that there in case it's cursed. What do we got here? Rope reed fiber hood. Another bronze helm. Well, one of these... Have I already been through here? No. Okay. Wait a second. Have I explored everything then? Okay, now I think I've explored everything in here. Okay, some of these places are just confusing. Who is this? A lawgiver. Ah, oh, hello. I am Rorty Burnt Strike. Don't travel alone at night. What about your family? I have no family. I am a lawgiver. I was an engraver for 33 of the years of my life. I was once an engraver. Is that all the information you've got for me? Apparently so. Kind of a shame he doesn't have a family either. What can you tell me about the capital? Capital. We are in Tone Acted. In 46, the North Nations founded Tone Acted. And in the early autumn of 4091, Kinam Name Limbs was struck down by the Etten Umset certain sculpture, the glimmer of gleaming in Tone Acted. I'm guessing he's the last one left, the only one strong enough to defend the keep here. In the early summer of 3524, Dulu Waxcake was struck down by the zombie dragon Osna Glowwelts, the Furnaces of Gold. In 6069, someone's eyelid was smashed by the troll. It's not nice. In 1819, Matter Groove Chapels was struck down by the foul blend deck. Knife mornings. What about work? No, I didn't think you would. You're a night creature. You have to be. How the hell else could you still be alive here? Do you have anybody in your towers that I can recruit? I'm honestly guessing no. I mean, this will be a very far stretch if there is. Primarily for the fact that there's just so much evil in the world around here. Maybe, though? Somebody? Anybody? No. I've never seen anybody hiding anywhere else but the very top of the towers either, so... There's no point in walking around on the other additional levels between the tower. 
think. Where's the way out of here? I think it was to the south. I just have to find it down there somewhere. Okay, there's nobody here, unfortunately. I'm not going to go check the rest of the towers, but I'm fairly certain that there's not. So is this the way out right here? No. Maybe it's right here, by chance, perhaps. Yeah, there we go. Well, one thing we do know, there is a ton of tombs around here. There's also another keep far to the north. I don't have a chest piece or good greaves for this character, but at the same time, those haven't seemed to help me in the past at all. Here we go, there's a little pyramid place. I guess let's check this little hell hole out. We pick the lock. Well, the first thing we see is a coffin. It contains a skeleton in it. Here's a slab, a black bronze memorial. Um, let's see. The slab reads in memory of Lamoth Ramulala, born 870, starved to death in 905. General of the realm of surprises in 905 before starving to death. Okay, I'm just going to leave that coffin right there. As fun as it would be to go exploring the place, we'd have to step right next to the coffin. I'd kind of like to explore one of these places without having to walk by it. A more than likely zombie. There's another slab. Can I read it? I'm sure I can. If I can get the right key. Let's see, this slab reads, Woe unto any that disturb the resting place of Esme Bezobecker. The general watches still. Yeah, he'll probably find us. You know what? I'm just going to leave this tower, too. <laughs> I don't want to die, guys. We've lived for such a short amount of time. It would be insane to throw away our life this early. Can I fast travel yet? So we'll go check out the other keep, maybe. What is this place? Well, this is a new design that I haven't seen. I've seen the the pyramid-looking places before and the straight-up towers. Well, a couple more slabs around here. Rose Gold Memorial Slab to Papos Zalimi. The slab reads, in memorial of Zimilu, born 191, starved to death in 225. He was a loving husband. A zinc slab. Woe be unto anyone that disturbs the general. There's his coffin right there. I'm guessing that's this guy. Is that Papo's coffin? Yes, it has Papo's in there. Okay. There was no um, stairwell in there, so I'm guessing it's around here. No, you can't get up there. Hmm. It's a fairly short um, tomb to him. But I'm guessing he can still kick my butt. Another slab. Woe well unto any that disturbed the general Ison Dequinen. I was hoping we could luck out into some easy treasure, but I don't think it's going to happen. What is this place? Now this is a massive tomb. We pick the lock deftly. Daftly. Dooftly. Pathit Kespomoth is here. We're gonna check it out. I'm curious just due to how large this place is. A, a trap. We spot a weapon trap there. And wisely avoid stepping on it. Okay, so this place is a great maze. There's another sarcophagus. Starved to death. General of the realm. 230, 2340 to 2352. Hunter of grizzly bears. Devoted father and husband. So no wonder he's got such a large tomb. He lived and was a general for quite some time. And we avoid another weapon trap. A spinning axe that we have up here. Maybe we can avoid his coffin completely. Bronze breastplate. There we go. Also the wool cloak. Put that on. 
What am I already wearing? Oh, I already do have a bronze breastplate. Never mind. Let's drop it then. The cloak is nice, though. I think I can wear multiple ones of those. Backpack. Another trap. A crown. A couple bags. I'm gonna step on it. Okay, apparently you disarm it, too, as soon as you step on it. Ooh, we got some nice chain leggings. Let's put those on. I can't wear two pair of them. Or at least two of them, dang it. Okay, let's get out of here before the general gets ticked off that I stole a bunch of stuff from his tomb. I think it's raining as well. It is. I don't think we're in an evil region, so I don't have to worry about uh, poisonous rain. But that would be a concern. If we were in an evil region. So what does this say? It's right here in the entrance. Rody Relidu, the general still watches. Okay, you know what? We're going to get out of here. We've got some nice gear. We had some nice uh, exploring, some nice archaeology. But I don't really feel like dying. And I haven't seen any books laying around. It always scares me whenever this an entire room pops up. There's Thur, Bajan. Here's his memorial slab. Born in 1980 and starved to death in 2011. He was the war leader of the realm of surprises in his last year, and he marched to his death. Oh god. I guess maybe I am in an evil location. I'm, bl I'm melting. I'm bleeding. Okay, so this is evil rain. I guess we're going to crawl into this tomb and die, probably. Oh boy. Heavy bleeding. All my fat is melting off. The fat is melting off of my head. Well, I guess I'm just going to pass a bunch of turns here until I probably die. I'm pale, I'm faint, and we are dead. My head melted off. Good lord. Oh, boy. Severe blood loss. No evaluated wounds. What's my description? Upper body is completely melted off. Man, I, okay, I, the adventure mode is extremely hard. If you see a character and have a character that lasts for a, a decent amount of time, that character is apparently awesome because there are any number of things that can and will go wrong. And I am getting to experience a bunch of them. I think we'll spend a little bit more time in this world... Because I still want to explore that other fortress and maybe make my way to some of these towers. And then I might, might generate a new world. Test out a few more settings. Maybe see if I can get a few more survivors to be present. Because, again, as fun as it is to run around in a world in desperate need of a hero, it certainly is hard. Okay, bump those up. Analytical ability. I'll not put any points into focus. How about willpower and patience this time? Swordsman up to 8. Fighting up to 8. You know, maybe I should yeah, we'll use that, that, and that. Okay, I'm not going to put any points into wrestling or throwing. Reading, yes. The last 16 points can go into fighting and swordsmanship. Bump those up to 9. Thora, sparkle whips. No... Theater juggled. Ankle flash. No. Shake spines. If only it was shake spines, then it would work. Mushroom velvet. We're gonna be gill. Mushroom velvet. Velvety smooth. Deep purple mushroom hue. We start in noble tones. And... This is the fortress we're going to next. Spread Racks. Does not sound like a very welcoming place. There's probably a lot of torture that goes on there. Um, am I gonna have to. I, I don't actually know how to get over. Well, there's no easy way to get over to this place. Go through the evil region here. Then we have to embark on foot and actually walk there. I guess that might give this place a better chance of being defended by the good guys. It's... I saw a W down there. I'm doubting that it's friendly. Okay, it's not chasing us. A whole bunch of Ks, and they're not, they're not dead. They're not ghouls. I was worried about that. Yeah, where was the entrance? Yeah, this place... 
It's a Wolverine, and it's becoming rage. No, Wolverine, get back. Oh, the pissed off Wolverine is coming after me. Maybe we can avoid him. Uh, he's just, he gets pissed off just looking at me. He's probably going to tear me limb from limb. With the luck I've had, any creature is going to kill me. Nice little pit there. Hello. Oh, man, it's just Wolverines as far as the eye can see. Two of them come chasing after me. And that one is going to catch up to me. It does. What do we got? Front left paw. We slash at it. Its foot sails off in an arc. And we're going to chop it into bits. And then I'm going to butcher it. Ooh, I have a silver longsword. Nice. So let's see. We'll take its meat. All ten of them. I'm not going to eat its fat. Prepared kidneys. Yeah, we'll take those. Can't leave behind any food. And the other wolverine is just about here. It's no longer enraged either. So it backs off. Oh! Okay, never mind. I thought it just popped up next to me. I'm gonna say ambush. Okay, two lungs. Got a lot. Well, a decent amount of food from it. There's some buffalo down there. I hope they don't come enraged and charge after me. Knock knock, anybody home? I'm doubting it since you left a whole bunch of animals out there. A copper pick. Hopefully this is the last time for a long time that we have to go through inventory. Bronze breastplate, yes. Quiver. A very nice whip that I unfortunately can't use. Blah blah blah, goat leather, blah 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 blah. Nothing there. Worth carrying anyways. Bronze Greaves, not that well crafted. Bakers can't be choosers. Uh, I think I already have a better cap than that one. There's Copper Greaves. I'm not sure what's better, Copper or Bronze. I guess I'll just keep the Bronze. Reindeer Leather Bag. Already got a Helm. Uh, don't need any of this. There's a lot of stuff stacked here. Bronze Mail Shirt. Take that. Okay, what can we put on? We can put the helm on, the breastplate, the greaves, the mail shirt, and drop that one. I really just need gloves and boots now. Hopefully we can find some up here. Nice little side room. Wait a second, is this a completely new loot room? I think it is. Ooh, that's a fancier bronze breastplate. You know I have to put it on. Okay, where is the breastplate that I've got on? Okay, take that off, put that one on, and drop that from my hands. And in case you're training and spear more junk that I don't really... Hang on. I do want a crutch in case my leg breaks. So, better crafted bronze greaves I'm not going to worry about. There's the gauntlet that I wanted. Seems to be almost a full suit in all of these places, as long as you look for it. There's some decently crafted bronze high boots. We'll take that and ignore the copper. Don't want that. Gonna have a lot of shit to drop. Copper high boot. Let's remove my shoes. Thankfully not crazy enough to be wearing sandals at this point. Um, what do we got? Oh, I picked up... Okay, I don't want the copper. I want the fancy bronze. Let's wear that. Wear the gauntlet. Ignore everything else. Bronze. Oh, there's some really good stuff in here. Dang it. Can I wear those chain chain leggings? No. Can I wear that gauntlet? Yes. What's the other gauntlet that I've got on? Do I have two matching gauntlets? No, I've got one crappy... I've got... My gear is all types of fucked up right now. Bronze mail shirt. Let's put that on for sure. Ooh, two real nice crafted copper high boots, too. Bronze helm. No, don't need... I need that boot, though. Okay, put both of those boots on. Wait, do I have... I'm getting brain dead from all this inventory management and not enough killing. I might be... 
I might be running around with mismatched inventory, but you know what? I don't care at this point. We're probably going to die in the first five seconds of combat anyways. I'm a little bit jaded at this point. I have my survival chances. There's a bunch more gear in there. Throw me a book. And this tower is fairly tall. Toss me a necromancy book or turn me into a werebeast, something. Don't just tear me limb from limb. Such a waste of a perfectly good dwarf. Okay. <clears throat> nobody to recruit, nobody to say bye to. Let's just get out of here. I don't know where we're gonna go after this. You know, maybe we'll maybe I'll march towards one of those towers and we can suicide this character too. Come back here, there, there's a nice big group of rabbits. Tons of animals around here. You must come down from the mountains, that's right. Well, we got a ways to run to the west here. There's a wolverine. Run for your life, wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you're mad, I'm in your territory, bro, all that bullcrap. It's fine, I'm coming through, I'm, I'm leaving. Are we down yet? Yeah. Okay, so the nearest tower is Pleated Daggers to the northwest. Squeeze Wheel to the fortress is dead north. I guess we'll try to get to this dark tower. Well, hang on, the sun's going down. Let's go to town. I'm not gonna suicide to the boogeymen. Houses, houses, houses. Surprisingly enough, not abandoned. Anybody brave enough to go on a mission of doom here? I'm not saying you'll come back. No? Uh, how about you just let me crash on your floor? That works for you? That works for me. Cool. Oh, there's no cities in this world or towns either. It's all just hamlets. So there's no keeps in town that I could actually go recruit anybody at either. <clears throat> We're drowsy, thirsty, hungry. Um, let's take care of our needs first. I could search for the well in order to get my water. But I'll pass. So, let's see. Pretty much just head north. And we'll make it there. Provided I don't get caught up on... Or ambushed. Okay. Had me worried for a moment. Need to go directly north from here. We're in the corrupt forests. Which I'm guessing means anything we run across is... Going to absolutely destroy me. My speed is only 969. I got another chunky dwarf. No, I'm thin, actually. Just not very agile. There's the river down there. Got a nice little waterfall. Oh, God, I just got swept over the waterfall. I'm drowning. Okay, let's stand up. Can I swim? Can I pull myself out? No, I'm gonna drown. <laughs> this character gets to drown to death. Because I have no idea where the way up is. I don't see any ramps all the way down the river. Good lord. <laughs> like I said, every every way that everything that can go wrong is going wrong. Goodness gracious. Well, I don't know if we're coming back to this world or not. Primarily because this world is exceptionally difficult. I may try to generate a new world. Uh, one that might be a little bit more friendly towards adventurers. One that has friends in it. But, yeah. You can probably expect more of this on the way, though. I wouldn't expect to see any combat or great heroism. Because you're not going to be kidding it.